I'm Mark Murphy, the lead faculty for clinical education at Brasomna Sleep Technologies. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about any of those times when you have a little challenge with the fit of the Prosomnus platform. Although our doctors give us rave reviews about how accurate, uh, non-tooth moving, and how wonderful the fit is of those devices, there are those occasions, I've had them myself, where a device will come back and it'll be just a little bit too tight. Or the device could go back and maybe doesn't have the retention that we quite wanted on it. So I wanted to just talk briefly with you about a little bit of a modification you could make to the platform to make that work for you. I've got an IA platform here in my hand, and if the device came back and it was a little tight, what I'd usually experience is I would deliver the device, I'd put it in, and give the patient some acclimation time, but they'd have trouble getting it out. That happens to me once in a while. But when it does, I make an adjustment right along the intaglio surface down near the cervical in the posterior area. Uh, almost all of the retention of the Prosomnus platform is designed into the acrylic material that's in the bicuspid and molar area. So there isn't really much of a need unless there's a complaint about it feeling or pressing too hard on a front tooth to go towards the anterior part of the device to make an adjustment for a tight fit. Instead, if you just hover along the cervical section where that little bit of acrylic might be tugging into an undercut and just give that, I call it a little dusting with a burr, that'll usually relieve that tightness just enough so the patient can have an easier time removing the platform. I would also remind you to have your patients remove one side at a time. It's sort of like Tupperware. It's hard to put it on straight on, but it's a little easier if you take it on one side or land one side and then bring the other side up to close. That makes a lot of sense when you go to do that. So one side at a time rather than pulling straight down and getting that sudden surprise when it comes off and hits the lower teeth or goes in a different direction. The other thing I talk about is when the fit is a little bit too loose. When it's a little bit too loose, it's pretty simple. I need more retention. To get more retention, I'll usually reline the device. What I'll do is I'll roughen up, especially the posterior section, if the anterior is comfortable, I'll roughen up the posterior section a little bit with a burr. I'll paint some monomer on there. Then I'll mix a thin slurry of that monomer with the polymer. Uh, I like to use caulk orthoacrylic, but I'll make that a thin slurry. Any of the polymethyl methacrylate acrylic resin materials will work fine. It'll bond beautifully to the PMMA. I pour a little bit of that slurry in, again, usually just in the posterior areas, not very much. I don't want to lock it in. I don't want to make it difficult to remove. I'm just adding a little bit better fit, almost always on both sides. Roughen it up, paint some monomer on the acrylic, pour in a little slurry, and then wait. How long? Just until there's loss of gloss. When there's loss of gloss of the slurry that's sitting in that area of the platform, I'll lubricate the teeth just a little bit with Vaseline, KY jelly, or anything that you would have used in the office before. Then seat the device back in the patient's mouth, hold it with firm finger pressure. Wait. How long? This one's tricky. Wait till you think it might have been almost set up, and then tease off one side. That same path of insertion kind of conversation we just had about a tight fit. I want to make sure I create that in the reline device. So I'll rock it up on the right side or pull it down on the right side for a right-handed patient and the left for left-handed patients. Rock it down, seat it back up, wait. 20 seconds later, down again, back up, wait. One more time, down again, back up, down and out, and throw it into very hot water. That will make the acrylic material finish its set, trim off the excess flashing, make sure there's no rough edges or anything like that. If there are, polish them up as you normally would with acrylic materials, deliver it back to the patient. Hope that helps.